Hello and welcome to Psychic Moon Tarot Reading. I hope you are having a beautiful day. And today's reading is about what does your Akashic records want you to know? Okay, we have our we have these Akashic records for all of us who hold our past history of our past lives, of our karmas, of what is it that we need to do in this life what is it um, the path that we need to fulfill in this lifetime and this reading is about letting you know what is it that you need to know from your akashic records at this moment and time in your life okay so as usual we have three piles and you can pick your piles one two or three you will see these three uh, images uh sorry these three emojis that you can pick and choose from so um take your time and see which is the emoji that attracts your attention the most or you can just uh uh pick by a number generator pick one two or three using a number generator on google okay so that is one way of choosing or you could directly choose an emoji that attracts your attention the most so let's start your reading with pile number one. So pile number one, what does your Akashic records want you to know right now? What is the information that is coming for you from your Akashic records? Spirit guides and guardian angels, please help me connect with the energy of pile number one. Pile number one. What does the Akashic records of pile number one hold for them? What message do, does pile number one need to know regarding three of keys? Okay, the chess game. I see that pile number one, you are in a situation where you are surrounded by people who are playing politics. Um, the chess game is telling me that you need to be very careful about whom you trust and whom you um, let in in your private space by private space i mean your aura whom do you let in in your lives who with, who, with whom do you share your most private uh, information okay because i see that you are being surrounded you are surrounded by people who are serving their own agendas they are uh you know there is there is an energy of deceit here let me let me just clarify what is it regarding what is this three of keys trying to tell you file number one you need to be aware for sure okay uh mental strength this is a difficult time for you for sure okay file number one you are going through something which tests your patience your patience will be tested your mental strength will be tested so you are supposed to be um you know you need to distance yourself from situations that are negative and toxic and you know causing you distress you are advised to observe and watch okay do not make any important decisions right now because i see that your patience will be tested and if you are being troubled if you make a decision in a haste that will become a difficult thing for you to move forward okay you are feeling stuck but i but trust me that the situation is going to ease out by itself by the month of august 
so you your akashic records are trying to tell you that you need to know that your time will come just hold on for now no matter how much uh, you know stagnant or stuck you feel how much helpless you feel just trust the situation just trust that you are taken care of and wait for the right situation it's like playing chess you know the how how do you play chess you know you wait you take your time to make the next move that is the energy that you are advised to um, embody okay do not take any hasty decisions okay take your time you need to weigh your pros and cons you need to be very very practical about what direction you need to head on to uh, what is the path that you need that you need to take whom to trust whom not to trust you need to and do not participate in any argumentation argumentative battles okay do not indulge or involve yourself in unnecessary uh, uh, conflicts or frictions because that is not going to serve you any good okay pile number 1 if you maintain uh, your patience if you stick to waiting for the right time i see you will succeed in the situation this could be a political thing in your uh, uh, in your personal life in your personal space or it could be uh, you know some kind of politics in your workspace by number 1 and there is a lesson that needs to be learned here okay this chapter of your life is coming in uh, at this moment and time because it wants you to learn a certain lesson in your life okay there is a hidden lesson what is the lesson what do you need to learn in this situation why have you uh, why are you going through this uh, difficult situation where your patience is being tested what is the lesson that you need to learn here you need to learn the lesson of letting go okay pile number 1 you need to learn the lesson of being okay with situations that are not in your control the lesson here is deep okay try and understand that there are certain situations in life that you are not in control of okay there are a lot of situations that you are in control of but there are also a lot of things that you cannot control in your life for example you cannot control how a certain person behaves with you all you can control is your you can control your energy you can control your behavior you can control how you can uh, react to certain situations but you cannot control what and how the other person in front of you is supposed to act or, or you know react to you so your lesson here is to be comfortable with your own self your lesson here is to embody this peace uh is to embody this feeling of being comfortable with situations that are not that are not working in your favor okay Just surrender trust to the universe trust to the divine energies with a faith that everything is working out on its own sweet time even if it means waiting for it you are okay to wait for it you agree to wait for it you agree to you know indulge in that peace of mind with a trust with a feeling of trust that things will work out on its own you need not struggle and you know go in the opposite direction creating a lot more friction on your life okay so you need to flow with the stream that you are being carried on to okay and if you try to struggle and if you if you try to go off stream if you go if you try to swim across the other direction of the river that is flowing you need to go through a lot of struggle and and there is no guarantee that you will succeed 
So your lesson here, why you're facing the situation, why you're facing this feeling of stuck uh, politic, political influence, stuck uh, negative toxic influence of people and the waiting game and this energy of playing chess, taking your own time to see what is the next move you can make. All this happening is why? Because you are supposed to learn the art of surrendering and you are supposed to you know resist that urge to make things work your way okay you need to make peace with how things are around you you need to make peace with whatever the situation is you are in control okay so you need to be like this woman who is taming the lion okay your li this lion is your is your is your aggression is your anger is that need to make things right and this woman is your mind you need to take control of your mind and be in charge of your uh, mental health you need to be in charge of your peace your mental strength is everything here pile number one and that is the lesson that you need to learn in this uh, situation that you are in okay so pile number one i definitely see that the situation that you are in is not very easy you think that you have no control on the situation you have the people around you they have their own agendas everybody is you know thinking of their own victory their own victorious moves and there is a lot of politics that is happening around you making you feel stuck and stagnant but you need to put up with it and you need to put up with it with a lot of patience okay do not make any any hasty moves do not make any aggressive moves do not get into any uh, arguments or conflicts okay because this is the testing time for you pile number one trust me the universe is trust is is testing you out and if you uh, and if you uh, evolve victorious if your mental strength you know uh, takes you to this victorious stage of your life when you where you get through this energy current energy of your life with patience and calmness and you know surrendering your you know your uh, your urge to react then you will be rewarded the universe will reward you with something very beautiful okay so that is your akashic record lesson for now for the current moment in your life pile number one i hope this was helpful let me know in the comment section if it resonated and let's move to pile number two so pile number two what is it that you need to know from your akashic records what is coming out for you from your akashic records pile number two what do you need to know what does pile number two need to know from their akashic records Pile number two. What is the wisdom that is coming out from their Akashic records? Pile number two. Bath, birth. Pile number two. I see that you are birthing something into this world. Okay, it is. This card is. Is embodying the energy of a beautiful fertile moment in your life okay your the soil is very fertile in your aura okay whatever plant whatever seed you sow currently in your in your in your mind your mind is like a fertile soil right now pile number two whatever seed you sow is going to reap and grow into a huge tree okay and that tree is going to reap you a lot of fruits so i see that the message that is coming out for you from your akashic records is to make the most of this time especially uh the month of uh, like april and may is going to be very very fertile for you your manifestation powers are going to be at its peak. Pile number two. Let's find out some more details on what is this about. Pile number two. What is this about? What are you birthing? 
what is going to um, take birth in your life pile number two For some, it could be a new relationship, okay? There is new love coming in. There is a birth of a new relationship. There is a birth. This relationship could be a, a relationship with a pet or a child, or it could be a romantic lover. Any kind of rom any kind of new relationship, okay? A relationship that fulfills you to the core, okay? A relationship that gives you that feeling of joy, that, that feeling of fulfillment okay uh, you feel a soulful connection with this relation in this relationship pile number two okay what is coming in is a fresh new energy that is offering you a feeling of fulfillment relationship wise for some it could be uh, a creative project for example it could be a creative art project it could be something that excites you something that you know drives your passion something that you know ignites that fire energy in you okay you are birthing something that is very very close to your heart and you're very passionate about it about that thing so this is what is you know coming into your life pile number two your Akashic records want you to know that if you are trying to manifest any such thing in your life regarding this passion that you have or if you're trying to manifest a new relationship or if you're trying to manifest uh, conceiving a child, this is the time. I see that you are going through a huge, huge transformation in your life, pile number two, okay? You are closing a dark, dingy phase of your life. You are closing... A very struggleful ending okay you have struggled a lot and this was not easy for you okay pile number two you are now heading towards you have you have walked a long long path in the dark in the night and now you are heading the dawn okay the dawn of uh, the, you see the Sun rising in the background of this card you are approaching the beautiful twilight of the dawn in your life okay so you are uh, heading on to a beautiful new phase where you are taking a fresh it's like a rebirth for you okay this is like a fresh new life for you where you're closing off old chapters you're closing off old energies okay um there was something difficult uh, that was in your past which made you feel like uh you know you were hiding your pain for a long long time okay you were hiding what you were going through for a long long time and now you are ready to let go of it now you're ready to you know just um abandon that feeling okay you don't claim that feeling anymore okay it's like dead for you you don't even recognize it anymore so that is the energy that i see that is coming what is the advice from you from this uh, from the akashic records for you pile number two what is the advice that is coming for you what is the advice that is coming for you here pile number two pile number two your advice is to not hold on to the past okay you need to you know the past might try to creep in okay like uh, old ugly feelings may trickle in through your mind okay may find a way to trickle in but you are advised to not hold on to your past do not hold on to what does didn't work out in the past do not hold out to th hold on to things that are you know not solving any purpose in your life okay you see this person holding on to four coins these four coins are not going to help him feel abundant but still this person is holding on okay this is this is the exact advice that you are um, uh, you are you know, the, the akashic records are trying to give you that do not hold on to petty things 
that will not help you anyway it is only going to make you feel heavy it is only going to drain your energy and uh, you will you you will harm your overall growth and potential to expand okay pile number 2 you need to move on okay you need to move on there is a fresh new energy that is um coming on from the universe to you this birthing energy is a gift from uh, the universe to you for a purpose there is a reason why because the old is over okay do not try to hold on to the old i see that you are making fresh new connections you are being surrounded by people who are like minded who are going to support your growth who are going to help you achieve what you want okay you are building your own tribe especially three people i see three people that are uh either two or three okay two or three people are going to help you uh in your journey ahead pile number 2 this could be building anything i see that you are building something new with the help of two other people it could be building a new business it could be uh building a new connection there could be a new group of friends that are supportive of you who who are like minded who share your path who stay who share your interests and you know are helping you grow and prosper in a way that you always wanted to i see someone from your past life is coming um uh, your way to help you um help you emotionally in this journey okay you are going to need a past life connection ahead very soon okay and this is going to help you build what you are trying to build this is trying this this energy will help you uh bring the fresh birthing energy that you are uh being gifted by the universe okay so i see a huge new shift there's a big massive shift happening in your life which is getting rid of old energies which is getting rid of um old toxic energies old deceptive energies probably you went through or some kind of deception and you are holding on to that and scared to move forward maybe you had you faced deception in partnership in business but all this is going away this is like the rock bottom you have hit the death card is a validation that the worst is over okay it is dead okay things that are no matter no things that are uh, nowhere closely aligned to your path that you, that is closely aligned to your highest potential is over it is dead so get rid of it do not let you know past uh, memories trickle into your mind and do not hold on to failure do not hold on to you know uh, the feeling of uh, you know heaviness and feeling of loss that you know pulls you down it brings your energy you it brings you know these feelings bring your vibration to a very low energy and that is not a good thing if you're trying to manifest new vibrant energies in your life okay pile number 2 so that is your reading i hope this was helpful let me know in the comment section if it resonated and i will move on to pile number 3 so pile number 3 this is your reading and we are going to open your akashic records and see what is the wisdom that you need to know at this point in life okay at this point of your life what is the wisdom that you need to know what is that you need to know from your akashic records what guidance is coming to you from your akashic records by number 3 what is the guidance that is coming from your akashic records by number 3 7 of keys the ascent by number 3 i see that you have come a long long way okay you have come a long way climbing a huge steep mountain with your effort your dedication your will power your strength okay you have tremendous amount of uh strength uh 
your mental strength and your physical strength okay there has been a humongous amount of effort that is behind the success you are going to taste in a very very short time okay some of you may have already tasted this success but for some it is about to come you are about to reach a pinnacle in your life i see that this is a feeling of you know um success a feeling of tremendous pride in yourself you will be proud of the hard work that you have put through you will look back at your journey and feel how long have you come okay and this will make you feel so proud of yourself okay pile number 3 this is very very beautiful energy i see that the akashic records are trying to tell you that you need to look back at your journey and take inspiration from your own journey okay look back from where have you started and where have you come so far okay and i see that you are advised to keep moving on with this tenacity with this strength and this focus because you are you know you have the potential to reach the pinnacle let's find a few more cards and see what else do you need to know what else do you need to know regarding the situation it is all about success okay although this has taken a long long time but it's all worth it okay your labor is not going to go in vain that is for sure pile number 3 very beautiful energy your journey is all about growth and persistence of your efforts you are heading in a direction that is going to give you a lot of expansion okay this could be a new turn in your life i see that you are ready to take on a new direction in your life you're changing direction you're changing the steer wheel of your life okay and you are headed in a direction that is going to give you a lot of growth and abundance this journey could be slow okay i don't see this is happening overnight or this is happening between months this may take years but it is all worth it i see that you are working towards a goal that is very very long lasting okay this is something that you're building which is going to be global okay you are going to get global fame you are going to get glo global acknowledgement okay people from Uh, from overall uh, from worldwide are going to notice your efforts where are you headed you are headed in a way that defies a lot of negative assumptions that people have made about your path okay i see that you are defying the assumptions that you know probably a lot of relatives or friends have made certain assumptions about you that you will never reach the success that you have hoped for in this path or you are you don't have the potential to do well in business or your relationship is not going to stand the test of time such and such assumptions okay i see that in this path ahead okay the path that you are on which is taking a lot of time and perseverance it is going to prove all of them wrong okay you are going to defy these negative assumptions around you and that is going to make you feel victorious you will prove your point okay pile number 3 what is the lesson why are you going through what you are going through what is the lesson here what is the lesson that you are uh, learning in this path 
the lesson here is to be adaptive to change okay the lesson here from your akashic records i see that you need to be adaptive to change you need to adapt to a uh, rough uh, mountainous hiking anytime you can uh, be you know presented with a, a, a an obstacle in your way anytime you can be facing a harsh weather and you need to be adaptive to those kind of changes in order to move forward throughout your career path and that is the lesson that is uh, here for you pile number 3 okay your akashic records are trying to tell you that the lesson you are meant to learn sorry i have an itchy nose for some reason suddenly um the lesson that you are meant to learn is to be adaptive to changes no matter how harsh people uh, you know no matter how uh, difficult situations or people you come across no matter how uh, you know negative people try to pull you down no matter what kind of assumptions of people try to uh, demoralize you you need not be affected by them and you need to be very practical and grounded in your energy you need to uh, be so grounded that you are not affected by these external influences no matter like a hiker somebody who climbs huge mountains is not affected by external influences he is not affected by uh the climate uh the changes this person is not affected by rough terrains this person is so motivated by the thought that he needs to be up on that mountain top that nothing can stop him and that is the uh energy that you need to take okay your uh, akashic records are trying to tell you give that wisdom of having that perseverance of a of a mountain climber okay what else do you need to know what is coming forward where is this what is the advice let's find out what is the advice for you you also need to be uh, not affected by temporary darkness temporary illusions temporary uncertainties okay there could be you know times where things are dark and dingy and you don't know where you are headed okay but do not be scared because that temporary darkness is going to last a very short time okay you are believe that you are on the right path believe that you are you are moving in a direction that is going to give you a lot of prosperity abundance and happiness no matter how slow the growth is but you are going to make it you are uh, ascending in the direction of your highest potential and you need to keep on moving okay there is no stopping uh, you you should not uh, take your you should not take this victory for granted and stop your efforts you are advised to go on and keep up with this energy and keep up with this persistence that you have in you okay pile number 3 so that was your reading i hope this was helpful let me know in the comment section if you like this reading and i will see you very soon in another in another pick up pile reading till then take care bye bye